All right, guys, let's take a look at the Transformers. Earthrise. Uh, not these two guys. Uh, I'll do that later. But Cliff Jumper. Yeah, Cliff Jumper video. Woohoo! Everybody's done these. But my video, my review. So let's get this guy out of the package. And here we go. And here we have Cliff Jumper in his alt mode. This little tiny red car. We in it rose. Yeah, uh, I don't know the make or model, what this car is supposed to be like, but I think it looks very nice. We'll just look at the details here. We'll start from the top view. As you can see, he has black paint for the back window. He has blue transparent for the windshields. He has the Autobot symbol on the hood with some little molded detail, a hood scoop. And they also painted details for the grill and lights and the lower intake air. He does have painted rims on his wheels in the front and back. And some more painted details for the bumper and exhaust ports. Yes, you can still see the hands there, but it's imagination. And the bottom, you do see a little bit of the robot, but no visible head syndrome on this guy. Pretty cool, yeah, I know, that's awesome. But there's also other stuff you could do in this mode with all his accessories he has he has quite a bit of accessories exactly one two three four five five accessories two which looks like his little blasters two that are look like the little skids and this black thing with some silver painted detail on it um i don't know what to call it but yeah it the thingy. We'll call it the thingy. But what you can do on this guy is on the front part of the wheels, there's these little slots here. And on the skids, actually have a little tab. And they just slot in. Nice and stiff. Not too stiff that you have to force them in, but they're on there really good. And on the back part right here, you can see these two tabs. And on the blaster, there are actually little slots. You can tell from the light there. And they get slotted in just like so. Minus the dog hair. And the thingy can be opened up. Like so. And it has these two little tabs right here. Little small ones. So be careful. You might break these. And the 5 millimeter port, which that goes there. And the little tabs go right here in the hands. I like to do is go ahead and get those tabs in first. Then, last thing, and just line it all up. Oh, I didn't line it up very well. All right, and there we go. He has his ski mode, water jet mode, or something, pontoons. I'm not for sure, but it's raised up. So the wheels do not slide anymore, but you are sliding on the skids and this. So do be wary if you slide this too much on a rough surface, you will scratch all of this detail on there. So yeah, that's what you can do in this mode. And other stuff as well. I mean, you can take these off, give them a little cannon on top as well your imagination your toy you can do whatever you want but i'm just going to show that and not going through every step move away so let's go ahead and take all these off set all these little pieces oh and do be careful with these these are so small you can lose them so be careful with them don't lose them like i haven't done that like five times already so far playing with this guy so let's get this guy in robot mode. In three, two, one. And there we go. Robot mode. Yeah, I didn't really show how to actually transform this guy. It's because a lot of ha people are having issues of him being a parts former. To me, that doesn't really bother me. That's more playability. So I'm not going to go to the hassle of doing that. Because... It doesn't bother me it may bother you so i'm not gonna actually do that so but the articulation the transformation of this guy is oh my god so nice 
I mean, just the feet alone, the what, how they did all this. I mean, I'll, okay, I'll show you. Just get out of the way, but using basically the the part where it shows basically it's the door of the car, but it becomes the back part, and it has a little tab here that can go in any one of those slots of the of the rim at all it don't, don't matter which one as long as it's in one of these slots in here it's perfect but it's like that transformation i mean it's like oh my god and then look you didn't see that at all look at that so it's like the difference it's getting all this folded up bring around swoop it around and boom he's got feet like oh wow that's yes that's we've been looking for that type of transformation in a figure and yes there is a parts forming oh well i will take that with that anytime so the articulation of this guy is a very nice even though he's supposed to be a deluxe as you can see he is pretty small he's not a deluxe but the much of articulation you can get from this little guy yeah okay that's fine yeah i will deal with it so the articulation we'll start off with the head the head i believe is on the ball joint but my cliff jumper is so stiff it's hard to turn i do think you could turn a full 360 but with the scope and how tight it is i don't want to risk it because i'm like pushing on his horns just to try to turn it not gonna bother the shoulders are on a hinge and pin, with a pin in the slot here so that you got full articulation like pretty high up on that shoulder i mean that's that's posability wise that goes up higher than most figures are only like tree form he goes beyond he's almost a y well he's going victory rocky Bobo. <sighs> forget that forget what i just did but okay Let's go ahead and finish it up. So he does have a swivel right between the elbow and shoulder and a about a 90 degree bend at the elbow and everything. My camera doesn't want to try to keep focus. It's shifting. I'm sorry. And the hands are on a swivel too. He does have a waist swivel. And no ab crunch though, but he can lean back pretty far. Like, yeah, that's quite a bit. And if you take off his little back piece back here, really extreme pose. Don't know why you want that, but yeah, it's there. We'll just put that back on for now. And yes, that could be a little annoying. Then his legs could go forward that far and they could go back that far so we could do basically a full splits that way and full splits this way so he could do the van dam and then some he does have a thigh rotation right here as you can see the oh no foot uh, there's a little mushroom peg and right there so you got your thigh rotation there he does have a 90 degree bend and he doesn't have any up and down on the on his feet, but he does have extreme ankle tiltage. So yeah, he can really do the Van Dam. Why pose? There you go. Look at posability on this little guy. Look at it. Oh my god. But yeah, pose ability out of this figure. I mean, I got figures bigger than him that can't pose like that. But yeah, that is a lot of posability. So let's go back with his accessories. Once again, let's all of these pieces. So one thing I'm gonna clear up, there is storage in his bot mode for all these pieces. And I'm gonna kind of show you a little bit, but it's also another feature as well, but it's consider it could be considered a storage because it's all on him as well. So what you want to do is take his little backpack piece off, and the same tabs that were for in this car mode, 
you could do the exact same thing. Now you can have them facing upward or you can have them facing downward. It's entirely up to you. I prefer having them downward, but before we do that, is I like to take the little skids here, go ahead and clip them onto the side. Then you can clip it like that. Let's go ahead and just do the other side too. We'll just get this thing out of the way. Make sure I have everything lined up. And we'll take this piece here, clip it on, bring it over, and we'll let you just put this back on. So there you go. You have storage. Yay! It's all on him, but also it's a nice little backpack with a thing in my bob. Let me raise my camera up a little higher because you cannot see that. That's a little better. Okay, sorry about that. But there you go. You got a like, nice little backpack. I did see somebody do this, so I'm not taking credit for it, but I do like to show you can actually technically use it as a storage on him when he's in bot mode. You don't have to be in vehicle mode to put all the stuff on him. All accessories. That's it. Accessories. Oh, if you didn't notice, I smashed my finger. So, yeah. I mean, it's pretty nice. You know, you can just... Do a little fun stuff. I mean, if you want, you can turn this around and, or, you know, plug in like this and, you know, get yourself carrying handle. You could go whoosh. And yes, I just did that again. All right. So let's go ahead and take off all the accessories off real quick. And I mean all, including this, because I'll show you other features you can do. So it's got them all separated. So his big gimmick is his iconic big blaster that he tries to take out Megatron in the original cartoon series the 84 cartoon series so what you do is you take all the accessories and you put them together so I take the thingy well in half take these two blasters put them together then you take the skids and you want to angle them down so they can fit like this so they're kind of like a little tripod Pretty nice. Then you take this piece and you can put it in, in the back there. And there you go. His iconic big blaster. Oh, and this, you can have it this way or this way. I prefer having it this way because it has more details and shows everything. And there you go. His iconic big blaster that he could not take Megatron out with. Shouldn't have missed. Cliff Jumper, you shouldn't have missed. But yeah, that's his, his big weapon function there but there's almost there's more playability with these parts including this now as i drop the stuff now with this as you can see it has a little handle right here five millimeter and it's supposed to be a form of shield don't know why they did that but yeah you can have his shield shield it's a windshield shield shield windshield ah, ha, ha. okay my joke i'll laugh at it and you know he has a big blaster and a shield windshield shield but there's more features with this but let's go on to hit what you can do with all these let's start with the thingy first as you can see the thingy has a little handle part there so you can extend it out and he has his like big old club so i guess he can have his shield and club going on a quest da, 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 da. Da, da, da. yep so he has like a big club thingy whatever and a shield yay for imagination all right set those to the side and let's go on to these two parts, which as you could tell earlier, they can form into blasters. And I like to do is take the skids because they have slots on both of them. And you could give him dual blasters with clips. So yeah, imagination, woo. So you give him like the little blasters. He could go, yeah okay but yeah 
you can do that. More playability, that's fun. I love more playability. You also could put it on his forearms too to give him a kind of Megatron look. Or you could put him on his lower legs here so he can have rocket feet. Or if you want, you can... Well, let's take that off because it's in the way. Gim, actual rocket feet. Because it's foot, but whatever. My joke. So yeah, you can do stuff like that. But here's something I kind of discovered as I hit my camera. More what you can do with these. Now, I've been looking at this real closely. And I noticed it has this little tab right here. And I'm like, what is that for? So I'm looking around on the jumper here and everything. And I notice the shoulder slot can actually fit that spot right there. Just fine. Look at that. So he has a shoulder cannon. You can pretend it's a shoulder cannon or, you know, um, some type of grabber thing. I, I don't know. I noticed that, that he can actually hold that. And everything so i was like oh cool so what else can i figure out on this guy and i notice this back spot right here it's got a hole with two grooves on it so i'm looking at this one and i was like well that don't the handle doesn't have grooves that don't have grooves what has grooves then i notice this handle here actually has grooves and i was like hmm Well, looky there. We got an old school style blaster. I call it old school style because, you know, usually one part of the vehicle turns to a weapon. And there you go. You have a windshield blaster. It's a blaster windshield. I don't know what to call it. It's a windshield blaster. So, yeah. He has another gun feature. Woo! Another gun feature. Who would have thought? Then I was thinking, well, if that tab can go in there, what else can you do? I'm looking more and more at this. And I was wondering, why do these have grooves in them? Then I looked at the skids. I was like, hmm, that almost fits. So I kind of just see if they fit without trying to do you know, force it in there. We'll just see if they actually fit in there. And they actually do fit. It's kind of hard with the camera in between me. I can't see very well. Oh, there we go. And they fit just fine. No stress marks, no nothing. So he has this little gimmick here. Huh, it kind of looks like a claw. Wait a minute. As I drop more stuff. And pieces go everywhere. Yay, pieces. Like I said, try not to lose these. That was a demonstration. I didn't actually drop it. But yeah, you can fit these in there. Just nice. Then you can actually, I like to put it like that. And you can put it in any angle and... He's got this big hunk of grabby thing. Or if you want, you can angle it just enough. And flip it down. And he's got a, a ramming battering ram. Yeah, I came up with it. Yeah, battering ram. Or a, some form of a grabber thing. Gotta lift heavy things. But yeah, I came up with that. I never didn't really see anybody else do anything else like that. But yeah, that is the other features with Cliff Jumper that I discovered. And one more thing about this. So if we take everything off, I mean everything, and everybody complained about it being part form, but. I flipped it upside down just to see what it looked like. And honestly, to tell you the truth, that head was blue with a gold body. We have Goldbug. I can actually see Goldbug when this 
molding right here because it's just this iconic hood scoop thing that the G1 style gold bug had. Yeah, I can easily see that. Yeah, it's a lot of backpack there and everything, but we are getting another figure with this mode. Why not go bug? An actual G1 style go bug. But yeah, that's what I've discovered with Cliff Jumper and just make sure I don't lose any pieces. I'll be right back. Oh good, I didn't lose any pieces. He's all there. But that is my review with Cliff Jumper Transformers Earthrise. But yeah, nice figure. Price a little too high just due to the size, but with the articulation, the extra weapons, and the possibilities of actual actual creativity you can have with this guy alone. I'm actually going to see somebody make a gold bug from this mold just because of that. Just turning this upside down. But yeah, I'm really hoping they do and everything. I love the figure. He's going to go right on my collection shelf once I get the room done. I still got a couple of more ships to put up, but I gotta make them. But yeah, that is my review for Cliff Jumper. And I got a new catchphrase for the end. Hope you enjoy. If not, it's my catchphrase. Oh well. Well, here you go. Wait, what was it again? Oh yeah. <clears throat> it's my first attempt to doing it, so be patient. Okay. <clears throat> May your collection maximize your spark, but never terrorize your wallet. I'll see you next time. This has been Jonimus Prime. Later!